This is a quick tutorial covering how to upload files for the first time into a new HostGator account. Now when you first open your HostGator account, you're going to see a page like this. And so how do we replace those files on that page so that our files show up? Well, in any uh, website, you've got to have the index.html file. That is the file that takes precedent. It is the default file. So I'm going to go to my desktop. It's a file called join. And over here is my root directory of 7anchors.com. That is where we just saw this site. And I've not replaced the home page yet. Now when you upload, you want to upload to the public underscore HTML directory. So you double click. When you come in, and you see I already have some files here. But if these did not exist, all you would see is this index2 default and the CGI bin. And so what I want to do is take my files, like here's the index.html file, I'll just drag it over, click and drag, and if I want to go ahead and make sure that all my images show up, I can bring my images over as well. It's going to take just a minute for those to, to upload. So now in this root directory, what I have is the index.html, I have the index2.html, and the default HTML. So let's go and see if that made the accurate replacement. And if not, what we'll do is we'll delete this file and we'll delete this file. There won't be any problem with that. So we come back. And one more thing before I replace this page. These video tutorials from HostGator, really good. They've got just so much information on this page. So a lot of it you're not going to need right now at all. But they cover a lot of different uh, ways to build sites. They cover managing your domain with another registrar. Uh, all the way toward the bottom, they show you how to install WordPress via the cPanel, which is really awesome. So make sure you're, you're scrolling through those tutorials. And that's at HostGator.com tutorials.shtml. All right. Close that out. And let's hit refresh. All right. And see that totally replaced, even though those files are still in there. Even though the index2.html is still there and the default.html is still there. But if this was not named index.html, so if I was to take this plrwebinar.html and bring it over and did not have index, it would go back to that original HostGator page. And what I would have to type in is 7anchors.com slash plrwebinar.html. Hopefully this is helpful and get you online even quicker. Be blessed.